Hi everybody, I'm a Community Association Manager here at ACCU Incorporated. I am going to show you how to submit a request on the homeowner portal. Assuming that you have found your way to the portal and you are on your dashboard, you're going to see in the top right hand corner a blue button that says New Request. New requests are going to be asking a question, submitting an architectural request, or if you can make reservations within your community, you would do that here as well. As you see, you have three options, a general request, an ARC request, or a reservation request. Going into a general request, we'll show you how to ask a billing question or ask a question of your community manager, whether it's a process, a violation, maybe an upcoming meeting, something of that nature. This will actually give you a drop down of some options. So as you see, you have a billing question, a fee waiver request, a general request. You can report a violation or you can make a service request. A service request is a repair that you would like done on your unit if the HOA has a responsibility to repair or maintain your unit. Some of these, like an association construction task or a bid request, those are used more for board members if they wanted to request that the management company get a vendor out to say replace some asphalt or do a larger construction project. If you were to select something that might not be the right request, don't worry, we'll classify it for you so that it's sent to the appropriate people. Once you make that selection, say just a general request, then you can put here in the subject matter, say you would like to know when is the next board meeting? And let's assume you know how to type. You would just put that into the subject line and then just ask, I would like to attend the next meeting when is it? Once you've done that, all you need to hit is submit, and then that'll get sent to the appropriate person, and then they will respond to you in the portal. They will also be sent to your email address, so you will know when it's been received and responded to. When you come back to your portal, you will see here that you have a list of your items, and that will be listed as well. You can open that up and see if you've received a response. Say you want, to you want to submit a different type of request, an architectural request. That gets a little bit more complicated. There you will have an architectural form that your community association would most likely have you fill out. You print out that form and then you would come back to your request, fill out the information here in the portal, and then you would want to upload that form and any other information that it would ask you to include in your request. Maybe if it's a request to do some exterior painting, they're going to ask you to submit some color samples, maybe some photos for the homes next to you if you're a single family home. If you live in multifamily community and you're wanting to install AC equipment, they might want to know what that equipment is and where you're planning on installing it. So they would want photos of that. So here is where you would want to attach that. You would go to select files and then you would select the files and then just attach them here. And then those would be attached to your request. You could also put in a reservation request if you have that capacity at your community. Maybe you have a clubhouse that you wanted to rent or perhaps you might have an outdoor area that you're able to reserve for birthday parties, perhaps a gazebo or something of that nature. You would be able to come in and reserve that here. Anytime you make any request within the portal, you will see it on your account and that will be listed in your dashboard. You would come over here and see on the bottom, view all requests, open it up and you will see any of the correspondence and any requests that you make. If you have any questions or any difficulties, you're always welcome to call us at ACCU and we are more than happy to help guide you um, and help you find your forms that you need or help you navigate what your requirements for your community are and help you, especially with your design guidelines with those architectural requests. Keep in mind that if you are making any changes to the exterior of your home, or to the lot in general, you are probably gonna need to submit an architectural request. If you are going to make any landscape changes 
are wanting to remove a tree or plant a tree, you are probably going to be required to submit an architectural request for that. It is not just the bigger building extensions, pergolas or concrete work or those things that require building permits. It is permanent changes to the exterior of the dwelling or to the lot. And that usually will include the backyard of your property as well. So make sure that you are going through your governing documents and any design guidelines that you might have to make sure that you are following your procedures. The last thing you want is for your work to be stopped or worst case scenario, for the work to have to be removed. When in doubt, call your community manager, find out what your responsibilities and obligations are so that your projects can go smoothly and successfully. And we're always here to answer your questions. Thank you and best of luck with all of your projects.